guys and welcome back to the foot scraper channel today's video is super special but before we continue if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and like this video so today we are at the hair and beauty salon at harrods in knightsbridge in london it's a luxury department store and i was so lucky to come here to be able to have my hair done so why is it so special for me getting my hair done today so first of all I haven't actually had my hair done in a year guys that was no touching nothing the color had overgrown I became the Alan Parrish now those of you who don't know Alan Parrish that is a reference from Jumanji the OG it's filmed in the 90s so this lady has now dampened my hair so this is Mimi Mimi has been absolutely amazing she's the one that cut my hair and now that it's damp, she very graciously has dried it and we're going over to the counter to be able to cut all the parts of the hair that I've overgrown that aren't going to contribute to the actual color itself, which is so important that she's very kindly been able to explain that to me. And here we go. So now we're finally at the counter and she's brushing my hair out to get rid of any of the knots or anything to just basically straighten it out just to get an idea of the full length so as you can see my hair has grown so much and she is graciously taking some photos of me look at the length guys it is so long and it's about to go so at this point I have to admit I'm a little nervous because you never know how much someone's gonna cut your hair but if that's not even nerve-wracking enough how hard is it to find your middle parting and where it sits? Does anyone else have the same problem as me? But either way, she did a great job and here we are, all finally set in place, ready for the cutting process to begin. And she, at this point, was explaining to me exactly what she was going to do. So the idea was to still keep the length, but get some movement into it. Because of the length of my hair, I've had to stand up for this part. And she takes section by section, and she's just cutting a little bits off. So we took around one and a half inches off here and she's put some long layers in too, which you'll see a little bit later. And she continues there after to cut and make a little fringe section in the front because I used to have a long fringe, which she very kindly explained, frames the face. Now, I didn't know what that meant until she actually did. And I was like, huh, maybe it's not a bad idea to have this sort of framing going on. But she was so good, guys. Just watch how skilled she is. So during COVID, of course, we have to wear a mask. And as you can see, sometimes trying to cut your hair or brush it just means the mask strip was coming off. But you know what? We did a great job keeping it on. And she just found it so funny. She's like, honestly, you're not the first person that this is happening with, which is fine. But guys, we made it work and we still kept it safe. So now she's coming into the front to do that sort of framing of the face with the fringe aspect and just doing the long layers in the front. She was very careful to make sure she didn't cut too much off because when my hair dries naturally, I have a wave. So therefore my hair looks shorter than it actually is. And she took that into consideration and she explained it again to me to show me that this is going to be absolutely fine. She measured both sides and that's exactly what she's explaining why you can't see her while her back's towards the camera. But trust me guys, she was absolutely fab. So once that was all cut, she was just making sure all the layers matched throughout the entire flow of the hair. So no matter if I turn, tie it up, it just looks so seamless. As you can see, that was a bit that came off. And it's so funny because when the hair is actually sitting on your lap and it looks like there's so much of it, you really don't understand how long my hair was because there was masses on my lap and I, she kept telling me put your hair straight stop looking down i'm like okay i'm gonna be good i promise i'll behave and this was so relaxing honestly it was just so nice for someone to finally go through and take that heavy weight off my head i think that's my favorite part of getting my hair done
So now you can see the hair is a lot shorter than what it was in the initial pictures and she's just going to roughly blow dry my hair and get it ready for the colorist. So it's important that your hair is dry so in the next stage I believe we're going to be doing the bleaching with Mattia. Hey guys, as you can see, this is the last time you're going to see it in this color, but what we've done, as you've seen in the video earlier, is we have literally just cut off some of the loose bits, trying to get the oil. It's still quite long, we haven't cut a lot off. This is all the old color that was on there, and now it's going to be changed. So now I'm waiting for the colorists to come. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're using more natural things first, but saying that, we do need to use bleach in my hair because I've got such a dark root. So in order to lighten up some of these pieces, we are going to be using a little bit of bleach here. Let that kind of come out. He's going to put some foils into my knowledge. Um, and then he's going to try to create a color that works best to still make it look natural, but still give it the look that it needs. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks like. Stay ready, guys. Basically, like this is the the, the, the skeleton balayage. So the, the this step is the same for for every balayage. So okay. it's literally like bleaching it, lifting it, trying to obviously create the what's the name? The blending. For sure. And then yeah, this is kind of like the most important thing. This part is not done properly. Yeah. Then obviously. Everything else is not really gonna work. <laughs> we do all the blending by hand, by, by hand. Like you don't use oil, you don't use. Oil. You just do like the minimum back home thing. So it's kind of like the classic. Classic. See, that's yeah. interesting because I was expecting like oils, but. Yeah, I mean, foils is not really balayage. People use foils because, yes, we do get more lift. But we like to balayage, like lifting the hair naturally. Obviously, taking it as light as yeah. the hair can go, because obviously it's supposed to be a very natural technique. So if you push the, the lifting process, then it's not natural. But yes, it's. Uh, Now, I love the fact that he explained that to me. So I wasn't aware that this will be classified as a balayage skeleton. And as he's using the ammonia on me, so of course we had a patch test before we decided to continue. But he actually advised me that ammonia, not a lot of people are allergic to it. And so that's really interesting. I didn't know that. And now this is a shocker. So you see here, he's using like a cling film or saran wrap, depending on where in the world you're watching it from and what you call it. I was expecting foils, so in all my years of having my hair colored, I was always using the foils and I think you guys heard me say that at the beginning of this video and now to see my hair being wrapped in this cling film is a whole different experience and I'll tell you what, it actually feels so much lighter on the head even when you have the full hair kind of in this sort of process because with the foils it's so much more heavier and I like the fact that he explained that you get a much more natural lift, so you're not stressing your hair out. So now when he goes to push the hair back up, that was a really interesting point too. So I remember asking about it, and he says it gives it so much more of a cleaner finish. So all this like smaller, strayer hairs that kind of sit in that place aren't going to disrupt the how smooth it looks at the end as the effect. And believe me guys, this actually works. It's incredible and you'll see towards the end of the video. We did have a lot of fun though. We were having great conversations. He's such an interesting person. And it's so nice to be in someone's hands that was, you just feel so comfortable with. And he was just so easy to explain stuff to me and just have a regular chat. It's amazing. I just felt so looked after and comfortable throughout the entire process so far.
And yes, I do have a lot of hair, so you can imagine this process did take a long time. But he did work through the whole hair, and you can see on the left hand side where the hair hasn't been touched yet, you can see where it's slightly lighter and it's going into a blondie fade, and the part above is my dark hair. So the dark hair is 100% natural, that hasn't been colored, but the bottom is the remnants of what's grown out from a year ago when I did have my hair colored. So he did explain that when he goes to put the bleach on, the bits that are already quite light will become even lighter, and the dark ones should fall a couple of shades down too. Now, given the history of my hair, he was quite surprised that I did have quite a good lift. What that means is that the color did go down really easily and I was surprised too. And normally, I think it goes into like a brassy color, but this time it actually went down to a nice blonde. So I was super impressed, but you guys will see that a little bit later. Get ready for my crazy look when all of these bits are on. So now that he started working with the front part of my hair, um, notice how it's really close to my mask and we were concerned that the color was going to change so he very kindly gave me a disposable mask so we can continue the process without damaging the other mask that I was wearing. So for those who want to know, the one that I was wearing before is a Cambridge mask, um, it has 300 hours worth of wear so you can wash it and reuse it again which is fantastic whereas these disposable ones, once you're done, you gotta throw them away. What was amazing to find out while we were chatting was Matea actually loves going to India. He's been like four or five times to my knowledge. And we were sharing stories together about how we've both been to India multiple times. So as some of you guys might know, but my family is originated in India. Uh, we come from Gujarat and it was just such a fun experience to share mine versus his. So he's gone in much recent years and I've gone in much later years in life. So I used to go as a child and we used to go traveling six to eight weeks at a time across India and go to different areas. And what he does now is he goes for a couple of weeks and he goes and explores different regions too. And he's so excited to go back. And I said to him, let's see who goes there first. Is it going to be you or me? Because my family is going to probably beat him. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It was a good challenge. I can't wait to go back and visit everyone and see family also. Hooray, we're getting towards the end. So just the final bits that he's putting into the cling film. And then we just have to let the hair process. So processing is so important. So as he explained to me very so as he explained to me, because my hair is so dark, the processing time is what allows for the actual lifting of the color. So the ammonia works on it, making it lighter, which means the color should stick on it. Once this whole processing is done, we are heading over to have the hair wash. So all the ammonia is being washed away and all the little sections are being smoothened out, especially the areas that were back combed. Um, at this point here, we also discussed what the color was going to be like, how we're going to apply it, and what sort of tones would work. Do you want something warmer? Do you want something cooler? And I honestly just told them, guys, I totally trust you. As long as you think it's going to look natural and wonderful, I'm in good hands do what you need to do and I am so happy that I did that but you guys will see you soon so he comes in now and he's gonna be putting in the different toners the different colors and it's just such a fascinating process you can see just how much is already lifted just by looking at the ends of my hair
Now, even though the toner and the color is being put in, we do need to let that set also. So we were sitting and waiting for the processing to happen for another 20 minutes. So in that time, I just enjoyed a nice little back massage, had my legs lifted up, got offered some nice tea. I mean, everything you need for a good pampering session, and I wouldn't expect anything less from Harrods. So once we washed out the color and the toner in that part, I was taken back to my station where Mimi was very, very, very meticulous about the way that the hair was cut. So she went in again just to make sure all the layers were cut properly, everything was in one length. I was happy with the way that it was, but most importantly, I think she was really happy with the way that it was done and I'm so appreciative of this. I have OCD and for those of you that watch my other videos know that I find things like this so satisfying so the fact that she did that totally satisfied my OCD. Thank you so much Mimi. So the more she decided to blow dry my hair straight gave me so much more confidence in the fact that my hair was still long and I didn't lose a lot of my hair even though when I thought at the first time when she was cutting it and there was so much hair on my lap I thought oh my god I guess it's gonna be so short but it wasn't and it's looking great so that is so reassuring and I know anyone out there who's ever gone for a haircut I know you guys know exactly what I mean about this so trust me when I say this was such a calming moment for me when I thought Ah, I still have my hair guys. I still have my hair. So at this point we agreed to straighten the hair first. Why we decided to do that? Because we wanted to see how the front layers were looking and if we wanted to cut and make the fringe a little bit shorter to frame the face or if we can leave it the way it was. So it was just such a fascinating process to do both and she said to me let's do this way first to make sure everyone's happy and that way you can also see the color. So now you can see the color that it's kind of coming out to be and it is looking so good. I am so happy so far. But this was not the end, so it was just interesting to see just what and how this was going to develop. So let's see what she does now. And so far, guys, I'm actually loving it. The way that it's sitting, the way the fringe is framing my face. I mean, after looking like Ellen Parrish, this is starting to feel good. I'm feeling a little bit more human, but as you can see, we're both considering taking the fringe a little bit higher. So we do do that straight after this part.
So Mimi was telling me that, especially because I had a balayage, the best way to be able to see the color is actually when the hair is waved or it's slightly curly. So I discussed that saying I just want it kind of like a natural kind of uh, soft waves. I don't want anything too curly welly. So what she's doing now is she's just gently going through this whole section and then she's going to brush it out and really play with it and really kind of like soften those curls up just so we can see just how the light reflects on each of the hair strands to see the total effect of the color. So I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like afterwards. So you guys won't believe, while we're doing this entire process, what seems like 25 minutes actually took 6 hours. 6 hours of transformation to finally get to this point. So So you can see her spraying now, but this is not hairspray, it was actually a hydrating spray to keep the hair nice and soft. And then she came back and followed up with putting a nice serum through my hair to really give it that shine and the hydration that it needs to stay looking fresh and gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna take you a little bit silent to so just okay. show you a different life. Sure. One sec, let me do it again. No worries. Hi guys, so this is it in the final natural light. So in the video, it looked a little bit more warmer than it actually was. And even I was like, oh, why is it looking so warm? And then we came to natural light. And I'm like, hey, I am really loving it. It is just so natural. And the highlights and the way the sun just picks it up. I'm a fan of really nice, gentle brunette hair. So big love to the whole team that did this magical job. Now the hard work is for me to maintain this and not make it turn into a funny color. So thank you guys for watching, and I will be back with you guys with more interesting things soon. Mm -hmm.